to enable.org presents mathematical literacy, perimeter, rectangles and squares. The characteristics of a rectangle. We usually refer to the longer side of a rectangle as length and the shorter side as width. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, so th if this is a length, that we will also call the length. They are the equal in length. And this width and that width will equal in length. The perimeter of a wrinkle, rectangle. Because we know that the opposite sides are equal, we add all the sides together. Length plus length plus width plus width. First example, calculate the perimeter of the following rectangle. One side is 18 meters, other side is 10 meters. We know the opposite sides are equal, so 18 meters, 18 meters, 10 meters and 10 meters. So the perimeter is 18 plus 18 plus 10 plus 10, which is 56 meters. And note the unit is just straight meters, it's beca because we just simply run around the object and therefore the units are just meters or centimeters or kilometers. Example 2. A rectangle's length is twice as long as its width. Its length is 20 centimeters. Calculate its perimeter. Right, so that's 20. So this should also be 20. Because the length is twice as long as the width, the width will be twice as long. Width times 2 is length, so width is length divided by 2, so it's 10 and 10. Therefore, the perimeter is 20 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10, which is 60 centimeters. All the sides, and what about squares? All the sides of a square are equal. So therefore, the perimeter of a square is side plus side plus side plus side. Or side times 4. If one side is 5 millimeters, then perimeter is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 20 millimeters. Sorry, let's quickly do this. It can also be 4 times 5. In other words, um, if you have the perimeter of a square, it's easy to calculate one, the length of one of the sides because you just say perimeter divide by 4. Thank you very much.